Welcome to DMX Lighting for Beginners. This is part two, and in this part, I'm going to try and show you how to program the lighting combinations into scenes for easy access for live use. This lighting desk is a Showtech 2412 model, and this button, the Mode Select button, allows you to switch between scenes and the individual faders. You would normally use the individual fader mode in order to program each light before you assign it into a scene. The idea is that you get the lights to look how you want them on the individual faders, then program these in steps or groups, and then assign them to a scene memory. Here I'm showing you how to assign a simple one-step function. This single step is just a red light from a stage wash. First of all, you select the red light at the brightness that you require it. Once you've done this, you press the record button once. This records the step, and it's best to have it on full, because the scene memory fader will also allow you to fade the light in and out. Then you hold down the record button and then press the button on the preset channel and let go of the record button. So now on scene one, we have a single red light. This is not very exciting, but it's best to start simply. The fader on this first preset will also fade up and down the intensity of the light, because in this case, we're just using a red light which has a fader control. With a more complex light, the scene memory fader can make the light go through all of its modes. In pretty much the same way that I've just shown with the first light, we can now program a green light to preset memory scene number two. Again, move the fader into position. Don't forget to press the record button to record this step. Then hold down the record button and the scene memory button and then release the record button. This locks it into scene memory two. So now we have a red light on scene memory one and a green light on scene memory two and by moving the preset scene fader, the light will fade up and down. The video is about to show the sequence for putting the blue light into the scene memory, and at this point I'd like to talk about using the step mode to capture minute movements on the fader, rather than just on or off. When you're in record mode, and you move a single channel fader, if you press the step button, the step button will record the step. So if, for instance, you move the fader slowly, and after every minute movement, hit the step button, once you push the fader to the top, once it's in scene memory, the light will fade in rather than jump in as you see here. On this lighting desk, there are two chase modes, single chase and mix chase. This is single chase. Single chase steps through the presets one at a time, so you will need more than one fader up to make this happen. Here is a simple red-green chase. The speed of the chase is set by the speed button, or if you press the audio button, the inbuilt microphone in the desk will allow sound to light operation. Also in the back of the desk is a direct audio input for a direct feed of an audio signal. In chase mode on this desk, the first 12 faders are still active, so I tend to use the first three for the footlight stage washers, and then go into scene memory for the more powerful washers that are on the lighting rig. Here's an example of a single chase mix using red, green and blue. Another function on the desk is the mix chase, which basically gives you free control of the scene memories. And here you see me mixing colours using red, green and blue with the first three that we've assigned. By having the faders in mix chase mode, you can get just the effect that you want in real time. And it's quite simple to do. I would really prefer a computer-based system, but I'm not operating these lights. We have someone who comes and does it for us, and I do feel that a computer would make it overcomplicated. For what we need it for, for the band, it's going to be fine as this. Below each fader is a button, which gives you instant full power on the fader, so you can actually play this like a keyboard in real time, to tailor the lighting to the mood of what's happening. So you can either have it subtle by using the faders to mix the colours and lower the intensity, or use the buttons for instant full power on any channel. Part 3 will show more complex lighting routines, using 6 channel lights and 5 channel scanners. Thanks for watching and I hope it's been of some use to you.